connect with me directly. My email address, that's my Twitter handle. Um, this is where I, I live on Twitter. I have a Twitter console open 24 seven pretty much. Um, so reach out to me. Uh, none of this is proprietary if you want to take copies. I can send you a copy uh, or you can get it directly from the, the, the organization. Um, and if, you're, you know, if you want to take notes or take photos, whatever, that's fine too. Uh, my name's Andy Mann, not that that really matters. I work as a technology advocate at Splunk. So I'm spending all of my time listening to customers, understanding what they need, uh, trying to build product. I'm running strategy around DevOps at Splunk, which is a big software company. Um, and the other half of my job is trying to educate. So taking what I learn when I go and visit with customers and visit with other people doing cool things, including with DevOps, and, and tell the world about it. So this is part of the second part. Tell the world about it. Um, so what I'm going to tell you about today is about data. Um, the reason data becomes important, I'll, I'll touch on that quickly. Um, firstly, development's a complex environment. Right? The development life cycle is complex. Uh, historically, development was tough, but not quite this complex. It was monolithic. You'd have one large integrated development environment, an IDE, and that's pretty much where you'd live, and that would do everything. That would do compiling, that would do version control, that would do your build and delivery. Uh, you could even run QA through those IDEs, and you'd come out at the other end with a WAR file, a JAR file, an executable or something, and you'd just dump it into prod and off you go. Um, now we have a lot of other things we do in development, uh, especially when you look at agile and DevOps approaches to development.